Finally, I've applied for MM2H. Let's go to Malaysia. Attention! The Malaysian government decided to tighten the procedures for the MM2H visa. <laughs> hi, hi! Say cheese! Thank you! We interrupt our regularly scheduled program. You'll be subject to additional regulation. You are required to meet our requirement within a year. Your adaptability to Malaysian community is evaluated based on point system. Otherwise, you'll be possibly returned to Japan. What? After landing at Malaysia, your life will be always monitored by your mobile phone. If you enjoyed Nasi Lemek from the bottom of your heart, it shows your good adaptability. You'll oh, get one queen. crypt currency. However, if you show any unusual behavior as a Malaysian, like making a bow while you're on the phone, you'll lose a Lamak point. If you've got 1000 points, you'll be officially approved your visa. I wish you all the best. After I arrived in Malaysia, I did all my best to become a Malaysian. When there is water leaking, no worries. Let's go to Mr. DIY. Malaysian must fix it by yourself. Good attitude. You've got one point. Are you asking me my favorite Japanese badminton player? Well, it's not so popular sports in my country. I don't know any. Poor attitude. You've lost one point. Kamon Makoso? I can't read this signboard because of my Japanese knowledge. Poor attitude. Minus one point. Okay. Very nice. Let's get you a jacket from the front like this and riding a motorcycle. You're becoming a Malaysian. Got one point. Wanna become a Malaysian? Wanna get a visa? No, Malaysians never eat hot noodle soup by hand. Lost one point. Really? I love Malaysian bread. Always delicious. Gosh, empty? Ouch, nothing? No, Malaysians are always tolerant to unfilled bread. Take it easy. Minus point. What the heck? You couldn't meet our requirement for MM2H. Go back to Japan. Sayonara. Alama. Oh, nightmare. According to the latest information, the Malaysian government delayed the announcement of new MM2H program till March. The new program will be revised while referring to those of other countries such as Singapore, Thailand, Portugal, and Australia. I fully understand that you guys are having mixed feelings about this, but before cutting to the point of the matter, let me run through how Malaysia has accepted foreign visitors through MM2H in the past years. In the year 2004, the total number of the visa issue was around 2000. You can recognize some Chinese community countries such as China, Taiwan, Singapore, and Hong Kong here as majority group. The figure from Japan was only 58. However, by 2007, the top three were replaced by UK, Japan, and Iran. In 2010, the largest number was Iranians and then followed by Japan and China. In 2011, Japan held the first place and followed by China. Since 2012, China has come in first and becoming more dominant. By 2018, the total figure has reached nearly 40,000. See? 
This white chart race clearly reveals that MM2H has all to the countries and the numbers year by year. This kind of visa program is expected to boot the domestic economy on one hand, it poses dilemma on the other. Currently, Japan accepts the first largest number of immigrants in the world. As a member of a democratic nation, we guarantee applicant freedom of thought. But under the current program, even those who disrespect our value could get a visa. It's a controversial issue. For your reference, these graphs indicate how people of both nations increase their income yearly. In year 1989, the average income of Malaysians was only 9% of Japanese in US dollar volume. However, Japan has experienced serious stagnation since the late 90s, while Malaysia showed steady growth during the period. Currently, per capita income of Malaysians amounts to one-fourth that of Japanese. The more country developed, the bigger hurdle they hit to would be immigrants in general. As a person wishing to move to Malaysia again in the future, I must accept its reality and do my best to raise my adaptability to Malaysia in every respect. I'd be delighted if I could have a chance to meet you guys in the future.